Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. And this is our Let's Learn series. And where did I leave off? Uh, let's look at my inventory. So I think I need to place more of these guys somewhere. Um, I had an attack down here. So let's go check that out. Do I have a vehicle? So let's build another car. What do we need for a car? Oh yeah, and I can build one of these exoskeletons. That's what I was doing. So let's build one of those exoskeletons as well. And I think I have car parts here somewhere. Or not car parts, but uh, where are we? I need to make robo ports at some point. Looks like it needs plastic. Hmm. Oh, here we go. We need eight engine units. Okay, so let's go grab some engine units. And let's build ourselves another vehicle because I think I have the vehicle on the other, I have one vehicle on the other side, so might as well build another vehicle on this side. And I've been building a project here. They're li they're little robots, which is kind of cool. I've never actually worked with these. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to work on robo ports, but basically this requires what am I short of here? Flying. Oh yeah, okay. This just takes a long time for it to craft, so I think I would need to create level three assemblers, but I don't have that quite yet. I haven't unlocked that research, and looks like everything here is going full bore. Even up here. Oh yeah, even up here. Wow, okay. How many modules do we have up here now? We've got two more. So I got 26, that's nice. And uh, looks like we got that filled up, okay. Research here, let's take a look at that just to see how much is backed up. <coughs> Nothing at all, just basically one unit's backed up. So. That's interesting. I had eight engine units. That's why I went this way. Engine units. Engine units. I think this is all full. So let's actually take four, five, six. Let's take some of those. And then eight engine units. Where are we? Uh, here we go. Let's take it from here. Seven, eight. Okay, and now we should be able to craft the car. Yeah, right here. See, bing. Exciting, exciting, exciting. But these produce slow, and then these will be the first to build, and then these will be the next to build. Maybe I'll cap the production to one only. <coughs> Same with this, I'll cap it to one. So that way it doesn't go too crazy. And once that fills up, then the priority will go down to those guys. Okay. The car should be done. I, and the exoskeleton I have is done. And it uses energy. Ah. Hmm. So that means I need a personal generator. Which I probably... I got solar panels. But I don't have actually anything to get batteries. Hmm. I might have to create production for batteries. So where's my car? Here's the car. Bang. Okay. Need some fuel. So let's put some wood into it. Let's put a stack of bullets. Okay. Let's go into it. And let's drive. Hopefully I don't get hit by train. <coughs> We're just gonna you quickly rip down this way to the other base. Okay, uh, let's see here. Okay, I had an attack that occurred. Oh, there's some crude. Okay, so it's slowly filling up. Exciting. And it looks like there's eight in there. So I had an attack here, and something blew up, I believe. No, maybe not. 
Looks like I got the turrets still. Uh, 88 there, 89. So it's, there's still some of these old bullets left. So let's make sure that we yeah, use them up here. There, five can go on that one. Three. Okay, that should be fine. And then here we're just gonna put a hundred over in that corner. Uh, this is so terrible. How did I get down in here? What the hell? How is this possible? That's so retarded. You see this? Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Whew, I thought I was stuck there for a second. That would have been crazy. Yeah, let's put a hundred in each of these here, too, just to have it. Now, I've been sustaining attacks on this side, so I'm going to have to go out and probably do an extermination run of these bases here uh, and I'll save that probably for another episode we'll see we'll see we'll see and let's go check out up over here cuz I've sustained an attack that I've already f fended off up there so I just want to check the turrets and stuff to see what they're looking like okay and whoa I didn't see this forest Okay, let's go around this way. Oh, shit. Let's go along the coast here. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, where are we? Where are we? Oh, there's the train. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Stop right here. Let's check this out. This is a lot of uh, coal, or coal, copper when we get to it. So, 80 minus 80. Yeah, it looks like there is. Uh, this one doesn't have it, so let's do that. This one doesn't have it, let's do that. Okay, I think these all are at 80 now. Oh, I keep tr wanting to hit the wrong keys. Now this one doesn't have any more, so you can pick that guy up. Do that. Okay, and probably even take this one. It doesn't matter. But this one wouldn't matter. So yeah, so these will stay this way until basically we use more resources. I have these kind of in the process of being set up to, to harvest this, but that's only when we need it. I'm going to check out these guys here. So they used bullets, but, but it looks like everything is A-OK. -okay, which is good, because I don't want some weirdness happening over here on this side. That would be disastrous if they broke in on this side. I'm almost tempted putting you kind of like a, a couple more turrets here just in case. Let's do it. Oh, I hit the crate. That sucks. So let's do that anyways then. Put one there. Uh, one there. Sure. That should work, I hope. Let's put stack in there. Stack in there. Okay, perfect. A little bit extra protection there. Uh, we have our car over here. I wish you could build r roads in here. I know there's a mod for building roads, but it's just not the same thing. So looks like pollution is reducing because of the trains and everything. Okay. And that stone that's being processed over there, so on the far right so I think what we need to do is we need to create some more radar units 
and I'm going to create as many as we need here. So I'm going to need probably one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to build five of them here. I do need solar panels. So maybe we should head back and grab some solar panels. That's what's going to happen. <clears throat> oh, Stay off the track. You can drive along the track. Ooh, there's a couple stone extractors. I haven't done anything yet with those. Watch for the train. Oh, the auto save scare me. And there we go. We can kind of get to our base. Oh, man. Just having some lag issues with fraps <laughs> never fails OBS is such a beautiful program but fraps man all I gotta say is it sucks it's too bad really because it was a good product and I think they were you work on it actively and and <clears throat> you know would continue to be a great product but unfortunately it, you know, they haven't updated their software in like over a year it seems and that's that's too bad Because when you rely on this stuff, on like recording software, you want to have always the, the most up to date for your your software. Oh, this is full of the crude. Holy crap! So that's doing the trick. The uh, petroleum is full. The light oil, heavy oil. So we got a lot of that stuff in there to create the solid fuel. Let's go down this way here. So that means all this would be getting filled up as well six in there okay so it looks like it is going through quite nicely I am quite impressed actually about it all very impressed now this is not going to really progress any further because resources need to be consumed and we're not consuming them nearly at the rate that we are supposed to be. I could always expand this, but the problem with well, maybe maybe there's no problem. Maybe I can build it up along here. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look. So if I was to build hmm, chess, where are you? Here we go. Steel chess. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six on each side, right? Oh, that is done. Perfect. Let's do the portable fusion reactor because we know that we're going to need this. And we know that the blue is struggling, but we need to. So let's... Hmm. Crap. Hey, I want to do this stuff too because it's, it's like damage. So maybe let's do this one. Bullet damage five because it's gonna use some alien packs. We got a bunch stockpiled. We could use the extra resources. I mean, not use, but we could utilize extra resources. Like you know, use them up instead of holding on to them. So I want to create one, two, three, four, five, six for twelve chests. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's grab some more steel. And it looks like the steel on the one side is being used. I think that's because of, where is it? <coughs> Up here. Sulfuric acid is being consumed. Okay. Uh, we got steel here. Oh, I have a chest, I thought, somewhere. Oh, right here. That's right. Okay. Let's add some more of this stuff let's do two stacks we got this stuff here that looks good any more duplicates the belts looks like we're running quite low on belts yeah I got extra inserters here is there a chest for inserters somewhere right here maybe we'll put the extras in here for now actually let's just put the extras right in here because what that's going to do is it's going to put it on the belt here for research wise. And this way then all this will get you know, used up. 
Now with the buffer system that we have back here in the on the system where are we right here so uh, right here's the buffer system this is the buffer of the, of the ores and I'm thinking of building another s you kind of yeah see that looks like this will work just as as expected maybe we'll expand that belt so what I mean by that is like like this and then like this one two okay so after this I won't be able to expand this system very much anymore but that's okay okay and so what we're gonna do then is just like this and this this maybe we'll change the pattern of the system here Okay, and then one, two, one, one, two. And what's going on here? Well, okay, okay. Now, it makes me wonder if you just have the buffer. Oh, we need more of those those fast ones. Wow. I'm thinking of the buffer of forcing the stuff to the outside. So that way then, if it's all filled up like it is, it will only take everything out on the outside. Okay, wonderful, wonderful fraps. What did I say about fraps? Man, ever since OBS, I'm glad I, I told uh, Leshable Echo about that. Because I found it, and I know he wanted to broadcast stuff for Twitch. And from there, I told him, I think I told him about OBS. And ever since that, I don't know, it's it's been great. OBS does tiny file systems. Oh yeah, I need to pick up some fast inserters. Um, it does tiny file systems like you can record for hours and it'll be just your mere gigabytes of data while with props while the 17 minutes we just did or 20 minutes or around there is is a 44 gigabyte file like that that is just insane insane on it's I don't know it's insane <clears throat> I guess because the way the they encode it, right? It's probably their own proprietary private stuff. But it's too bad that they're not updating their software. I know I emailed them and got a response stating that they're going to update it, but <laughs> as always, <clears throat> uh, I've yet to see that occur. I've been waiting, 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 but that's kind of like another reason why the, we ch chose OBS or why I chose to go with OBS for recording purposes is because it just it works <laughs> it works and it works great so I'm just seeing here how I want this to be unloaded maybe we'll just take that out and have it be unloaded straight that way. Yeah, I think that would work. These buffers here don't really need to be connected too much. Yeah, exactly, just like that. And so I think that's going to work out good, that pattern. Uh, power consumption wise. Right now it's nighttime, so we're producing 9.5 uh, megawatts or whatever you call it. Now the solar power goes on, and solely as that happens, steam engines disengage. Okay, I guess I could do. Okay, here, see? So we could do something similar here. Let's see here. One, two. Let's do another row of storage. So I need to do another 12 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
12. Perfect. I'm not even timing this. Like, it's almost impossible with fraps. So we're just going to keep going. I know I was at the 17 minute mark. So it's, let's say 10 minutes from this point forward. And that's what I'll do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this system here. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll replace all of these power poles. Anywho. Yeah, that's, these will, we're just going to mimic the other side, I think. Okay, and then let's do this to, I think we just need the two. And then these guys, I think these will all change. Let's see here. Don't need these guys. So maybe we'll make it three like that. So vacuums it up, right? And then we want to unload, right? Okay, just like this. And let's do three. So basically, the ore comes in. These will pick it up. And then we'll distribute it down each of these sockets. Well, I'll call them sockets, but basically that's... Oh, cool. Looks like we could use... Excellent. That one. Nice. Look at that. Just like that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now I've just expanded the storage. So what? So if it's almost 2,500 each. So 25, 5, 75. So probably 1, 2, 3, 6, what? 69? 6,900 probably. And so now what this will do is basically let's speed up the corner. That's the one thing I don't like is those corners. So we speed that up so this stuff can get put on. Uh, I knew this red belt would start happening. Basically the red belt goes faster and it allows, well, it puts the product on, uh, you know, on everything or moves it just a lot faster. And then there's blue belts, which we can create as well. I'm not sure if I have that unlocked yet. Let's see how that goes. Okay. So these three are picking up, and I don't think it's really letting any go by. So great. I'm just hoping that this is what's moving, because this is the important part. To get all this stuff moving again at top capacity. Once this deposit is gone, we'll be able to move forward with a lot of those projects, but let's see here. Or not projects, but just to move forward with that. We want uh, so much here. Once this is used up, there'll be more space for stuff. Maybe create a kind of storage system. See, this is all full already, what? Okay, so it's offloading and it's filling this up. Then maybe it'll fill up this one. Yeah, maybe. Interesting. So we don't need, we don't need that guy. Maybe we don't need that much. There we go. And this side is just it's backing up. Fuck. Look at that. It's probably, I know exactly what it is. I'll show you what it is. It's this system here. So we're gonna move it into the middle here is what's gonna happen, I think. Okay, let's do that. So let's dismantle this. Yeah, okay. 
And then basically, this is all going to start to back up, which is fine and dandy. Okay, then it's going to let it do its thing. Doesn't matter. Why does it say steel plate plus one? Nine. Is something bugged? Like so this is eleven. Oh no, there we go. I wonder, I wonder why I was doing steel plate. Weird. Okay, so I'm just basically picking up all of these furnaces. Okay, and let's pick up this. Okay, perfect. Let's pick all this wonderful fun stuff on. Now, uh, let's do this. Pop the, the three of these here. One, two, three. This you most likely want to turn into smart chest just because it's going to work better that way. So, we have those furnaces, right? And we want to create steel. So maybe we'll just take it straight off the line. I'm not worried about fuel per se. Because this we can bring up and down and around. It'd be It's going to look weird, but it's going to make sense. Uh, let's see, how close can we put these guys? Let's, put, uh, let's just keep a space, keep it spaced out nicely. I think we can get more even this way. Let's see here. Yeah, let's build two more of those guys. I think we're going to need... What do we need for those? We need... Okay, looks like I got bricks. Okay, so let's do one, two. I do want to make these electric furnaces at some point, but it, I don't know. But I like using solid fuel. I don't know what it is. And these guys don't really create too much pollution, so that's not like it's that big of a deal. Let's see here. Let me think about this for a second. So let's dismantle this further. Okay, did that. Let's connect this. Okay, so now we got the system going with no problems there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to finish this and we'll call an episode. So, we can fast insert. Okay that okay I'll do that okay fast insert that and then it's going to we're going to export it but then we're going to also grab fuel hmm. so if I had let's see so if we have an export belt, yeah, we'll do it all the way. So we have an export belt. Let's pick this belt up. Since it's not going to be used anymore. Okay, perfect. See, see how space gets created? Okay. So this, we're going to have to move all this. Oh shit, they're picking up coal. Yeah, the silly, it's just a silly thing with the, with this stuff is, is all, is the area that you can, you kind of like vacuum up everything. It gets kind of annoying in the way that you just got to be careful where you're positioned. There we go. And sometimes I'm just clumsy. <laughs> like, see, I got copper on me. 
put this copper in there. Okay, so now, so we got these guys. So if we have our output lines like this, and yeah, we can probably pick this up. Hmm. have to move all this stuff. We have to move that. And we're gonna need to ooh move this. And we'll need to replace it. Do it like that, maybe like that. And maybe something like this. And then we'll just bring him over. Ooh, moved over too far. Okay, I see now. See, it's not about. It's not about kind of if we have enough power lines. It's more about do you have do you have them positioned in the right places? And it's kind of dark over here, so let's put a light in. Right about here. Give it some light. Okay, so I'm just trying to work around this area here, and this is not going to work here. So we need to go back to the, the little guys. I think we'll just put one here and one here. Hmm. See, what I'm thinking of is this belt is going to have to go underground. Like, turn and go underground. But this kind of gear thing is in the way. Now if we do that, I think it opens it up better. Uh, this buffer, I'm not sure if we're going to move that or not. <laughs> Just thinking out loud, thinking out loud. Okay, so anyways, so what we'll do I think we'll just do it like this. Okay, and then we can bring this underneath, over, and then we just bring this across. Okay, and we can even just do that because then it'll fill up both sides. If it backs up. Yeah, actually that should work out really well actually. I think, I think, I think I'm onto something here. So now we need to deal with the fuel. I think we can do this. Okay, and do the same on the other side. I think this will work. <laughs> We're gonna have to give it a go to see about that, but I think it will think it will okay yeah I think right just like this watch bang and then if you bring it up this way I guess I need to one two three one two three okay because then we can bring the fuel across Okay, perfect, and I'm getting, oh shit, uh, okay, now what's that, 
Okay, over there, see? Being engaged. Okay, there we go. They took care of business there. Uh, I did it one too close, maybe. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll actually do this. And we will go like that and like that. Okay, and <laughs> then we will do this, this, this. Uh, it's so funny. People, people would probably hate that, but ah, whatever. It works. And we can bring the product this way. And I think then we can move this stuff like this. Look at looky. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and I don't have an output set. So I think we can do regular guys, because I don't think it's that busy. Okay, I got that side. Okay, now that should work. Okay, boom, boom. Okay, let's see. Let's kind of watch this for a bit, see how it works. And otherwise, I think it did the job. It's going to take the stuff directly off the main line, as expected. So what about this guy? I think it will still work this way. Do that. Let's do a small pull. There we go. Then we got the gear guys here. Mm. Well, there's a gear thing here, right? So why don't we move this guy up here? Here's the chest. One, two, and we want three. And then we want some power here. Let's bring some power and voila. So this is where the gears will be made from. Still off the main line. It's just now we're utilizing this guy a little bit more. So yeah, so that I think that did the trick here. Steel production chugging away. And what's gonna happen is the one side might back up. But then the other side should potentially still be used. Let's just take a look down here. See, now it's the other side that's going to back up. <laughs> uh, it never wins. So that system I did up there is similar to down here. So I could have actually... Well, no, I couldn't brought them in tighter. Unless I used the substations like here. And this is just more storage. So in a way, this will equalize the belt. This will allow this stuff to get used. Good, good. Allow the train, which means that these are now in operation again. Oh, more pollution. That's awesome. Looks like these are doing as expected as well. Let's take a look up here. And then we'll call it night. So the storage is working, but it is filling up rather quickly. Crap. Man, because I'm not using enough copper. <laughs> That's simple as that. We got our train track stuff here. We still have plenty of 15,000. Yeah, okay, we got plenty of coal, so it's good. That's a really rich, heavy deposit. And I kind of veered away from fuel of that thing, right? Because it's not really necessary. And then here we got these guys yeah it's using the wood using it up what I might do with this train though is I might this is gonna take a couple of trips but I'm gonna move the wood over into this train because I don't have this on the solid fuel yet oh look at that we got a surplus of up oh, because it's not being used right so we do this 
We're going to throw the wood into this one here. I'll let it use up the wood. We'll have it use up the wood. Yeah, f f fuck it. Okay, cool. Well, that's it. I think we're going to call it an episode. So what am I going to do while you're gone? Well, I think I'm going to grab more bullets here. No, I got lo lots of bullets. I'm going to go and I'm going to make sure my wall has bullets in them. Uh, up here as well. And then we're going to think about doing an expedition of slaughtering stuff in the next episode. Maybe kind of work on the flamethrower. You create some flamethrower fuel and... Yeah, maybe we'll kind of see what that looks like. Because I haven't really played with the flamethrower or seen anyone else use it. So we'll use that. There's some lamoines. We could potentially use that to build some stuff. And put them along the outside of the wall. But I'm not sure if that really is effective. Because once it's gone, it's gone. You have to replace it. And so yeah, maybe I'll make the flamethrower ammo. Oh, it needs iron plates. So I think... Yeah, okay, good, good. Here we go, we're in the right spot. We could put the flamethrower ammo stuff right here, maybe. Uh, let's see here, what do I need to make that? Let's just check that. And made in, looks like a chemical plant. Do I have one of those? No, I do not. How do I make one of those? Chemical plant. Mm, I got the stuff. So yeah, so I'm going to set that up, and I'll set up the flamethrower stuff, have that ready, we'll be ready for combat, and then go from there. So thank you everybody for watching, I hope you're enjoying the, the series, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye bye!